Greetings, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. So this week, I'm going to be commenting on some more comments that were made on the comment video that I created uh, last week. So let's get started. And we're back with Danielson. One more comment to add. I personally find myself doing pharmaceuticals for my mental health and then doing meditation for my religious experiences. I honestly think, why can't you do both pharmaceuticals and meditation? I do agree with you, though. There are a lot of meditation scams and meditation cults out there. And I would say that when you're having a mood disorder such as depression, do not go to meditation for a cure. Go to pharmaceuticals instead because the pharmaceuticals are the cure to get your mental aggregates back in order. Thank you for your comment, Daniel. Um, you know, when we're talking about a cure, the benevolent wisdom of Big Pharma is such that, you know, they realized early on that if they cured anything, then they'd be out of business because, you know, there wouldn't be a kind of a, you know, a, a subscription service, a reoccurring uh, service available for people that really desperately need it. So what they decided was actually not to cure anything, but instead to you know, have a steady stream of medicine always available, which is probably the best thing, because then that keeps big pharma in business. Because if you think about it, there's really no money in curing anything, because if you cured it, then you ha don't have any more customers. And then the business goes away, and then the, the new sick people that come along later that need the medicine go, wait a minute, they went out of business because they cured everything. So yes, that presents a problem with um, curing it. So that's there's a little point of disagreement there. I do agree with you on the meditation part. Don't meditate. Don't clown around with it. You know, feeling uh, calm and you know having a very um, open conscious awareness, feeling that you're at one. Uh, and and your your within yourself you feel uh, this eternal sense of bliss and you feel connected with others. You really don't want that in this day and age. That's something that we absolutely don't need. It's really kind of cringe anyway, right? To be to be kind of peaceful and to be at ease in your life. Um, no one's like that, and so that's really cringe these days to even do such a thing. So you're right. Meditation's just a joke. Um, and, um, you know, pharmaceuticals, absolutely, um, while they don't cure anything, because remember, uh, we're not talking about cures. We're talking about, um, you know, revenue streams, because that's what keeps big pharma in operation. And that's an important thing, because if pharma wasn't making billions upon billions of dollars, not curing things, then they'd be out of business, right? So it makes perfect sense. So thank you very much for your comment, Daniel. Next comment is from our friend, Tello Hasfu, 4390. Wow, I never expected to be honored with such a response. That was great. I don't know if I feel happy or lucky, but I know whatever it is, it's always better than to feel depressed. So many thanks for your answer and video your work is a gift yes my name is awful i know i'm kind of a skater boy or skater bot it's spelled haha -ha. i'm really digging into this these into this new videos they are quite funny so now i guess i will paint the grip of my skate just as a prozac pill to honor big pharma and praise i will never have thoughts about meditation ever again so thank you for the advice. By the way, are you a skater too? You're the best. Have a nice week, man. Thank you for your comments, Tallahassee4390. 
that was a very well-informed comment. It sounds like you're well on your way to escaping the ills of meditation like, you know, many of us are trying to do. So good luck to you, sir, and thank you for your comment. Next comment is from Hoi Min Lao. He says, great video, but it's a real torture to listening how you lips and tongue smacking and breathing closely to the microphone. <laughs> I love this comment. First of all, um, you know, I want to apologize if my existence as a human being is offensive to you. I have to breathe and speak and that kind of thing. And so, you know, um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to try. I think that video was probably six years ago and I was kind of just starting out. So I hope that the lip smacking and the breathing, um, you know, I hope <laughs> I imagine this guy just at home, just getting it, just watching YouTubers and just getting really angry. Oh, this person. <laughs> but thank you for your comment. Um, you know, I hope that you're not meditating. It doesn't sound like you are a meditator because, you know, these little things that are annoying you. Um, so keep going in that direction. Get more annoyed and less, you know, more annoyance and less meditation sounds like just the thing that you need. So thank you very much for your comment. Okay, so the next comment here. Next comment is from Jermo Ziff. He says, this is refreshing. Thanks. Thank you for your comment. This is refreshing, I would say. Not meditating and, you know, not having to deal with the burden of being peaceful and full of bliss and not being annoyed by the littlest thing like someone breathing or lip smacking. <laughs> It's such a relief. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, once I escaped the oppressive weight of meditation and just kind of, you know, just got in touch with my really deeply annoyed side and becoming more angry at the world, I mean, that makes me feel so much better. So thank you for your comment. Okay, next comment is from Johnny Decomposioni. He says, we meditate when falling asleep, so no need to force it anyway. I mean, mic drop, Johnny. You've got it. Um, you know, I didn't even think of that, and I feel kind of silly now, to be honest. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm like six to eight hours meditating a day. Oh, dude, you just messed me up, because now I'm thinking like, how do I not meditate? Oh my gosh, dude. You, oh my gosh. Your comment is blowing up my brain right now. It's melting my brain, Johnny. This is, this is really, um, this is too much truth right now, Johnny. I think, um, this is just, oh man, I'm going to need to think about this one. This is really hard. Johnny, uh, I would thank you for your comment, but I don't know what to think now because I'm, I'm really kind of scared because, that means I'm meditating every day, even though I'm trying to desperately escape this um, meditation doom loop here. Let me go on to the next comment. That was really unsettling. Next comment is from Joel M777. He says, taking the well-pointed irony aside and playing devil's advocate, I can see some good in Big Pharma as having a system that motivates people and organizations to innovate, to develop means of improving physical health, does and can provide some positive contribution to humanity. It's just the excess that grows out of control that needs to be better managed, e.g. excessive greed, etc. In relation to meditation, I have only been doing this daily for around five to six months, and I am definitely much better for it. I have developed more self-awareness and feel much more generally in tune. I like to thank you, Paul, for the encouragement you have provided through your channel. 
Joel, thanks for your comment, but I'm afraid I have some bad news because Johnny just pointed out that we're all meditating six to eight hours a night. So despite uh, our best efforts to try to escape meditation, and now you know, you're know you telling me that you do meditate and I can see that you've got, um, you're in some sort of um, mental delusion that the meditation is harming your brain. Um, I would say run, don't walk to your nearest pharmacy, your nearest doctor that can prescribe um, some subscription that you can take for the rest of your life. It won't cure anything, but that's the wisdom of big pharma because, you know, without, if they cured everything, we just wouldn't have them around so much. And, and that would be uh, a really bad thing for all of us. So thanks for your comment, Joel. Okay, so that wraps up the comments and the video for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say that if you are meditating and you're having, um, you know, all of the ill effects of meditation, feeling peaceful, and you're feeling a sense of clarity in your life, and you're feeling your mood is well regulated, um, you know, these are all things that are cringe and nobody really wants these things. We would all rather just be uh, miserable and complain about, you know, uh, feeling sorry for ourselves. And um, it's, it's, it's actually healthier to be in a state of constant, you know, disarray and having the hamster wheel of, of unending thoughts. I mean, that's far better and uh, much, it's, it, it creates a much more resilient human being than practicing being peaceful, practicing being more open, listening to people, being more loving. I mean, we don't really need that in the world. Uh, that's pretty clear. So thank you guys so much for watching this week, and I'll see you on the next one.